Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 8th of 2023 well, it is titled Star Factory Messier 17. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a star factory. So how do you form stars? Well, you form them from the raw materials that you need, primarily gas and specifically hydrogen gas that is needed to make stars. Now that's because hydrogen gas makes up about 90% of the atoms in the universe. So the vast majority of everything in the universe is made up of hydrogen. Now you'll also get traces of other elements, things like helium and some heavier elements as well as dusty material. And when you put all of that together in a great molecular cloud, you can start to form stars. Certain denser pockets will begin to collapse and form some stars. And when that happens, you might get something like Messier 17 that you see today. Uh, Messier 17 has several different types of nebulae scattered around, including some dark, dense areas. And you notice that towards the edge of the nebula, towards the upper right hand side, those dark, dense areas are where stars are still in the process of forming. So what are we forming there? There is what we call a protostar. A protostar is the beginnings of a star when it starts to collapse, but before it becomes a full fledged star. In order for it to actually become a star, it has to start hydrogen fusion in its core. It has to reach about 10 million degrees in its core, hot enough to fuse hydrogen atoms together to make helium. And once it does that, it will begin producing energy and will eventually break out of those dark, dusty cocoons from where it formed. And then you'll start to see those first stars and you see some of them scattered around here as well. Once those stars form and the first ones that form are very hot and massive, they emit a lot of ultraviolet light. And that energy from that light is able to energize the remaining material around it. So we get what we call an emission nebula. And that is caused by the energy from the ultraviolet radiation. It energizes the atoms, meaning that it rips the electrons off of them. And as those electrons recombine, they will give off specific wavelengths relative to that element that they are. So hydrogen tends to give off a distinct red glow because one of the prominent transitions in hydrogen gives off a red line. And that will then energize them as long as those very hot stars are present and producing enough ultraviolet radiation. Those stars will also sculpt and shape the nebula. So they will start to push away and clear out this material. Now it's not an instantaneous process, it will take a while. But over tens and hundreds of thousands of years, the shape that we see today for Messier 17 will change as those hot stars slowly push away this material, and eventually will be left behind with just a new star cluster that formed from all of this material. So we're seeing one stage of that today as we look at the star factory known as Messier 17. So that was our picture of the day for September 8th of 2023. It was titled Star Factory Messier 17. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be large galaxy cloud. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.